Hello and in this video, we are going to learn another 5 very useful but not very well known tips to help you save time and effort formatting word tables. Ok, so let's go. First, let's learn how to turn text from horizontal to vertical. This usually happens when you are working with a long table and you want to turn the header row from horizontal to vertical to save space. In this case, we could need to first select the header row then right click, text direction, and there are two options here and I'm going to choose the first option. Click OK, and now you can do some cell adjustment to make it look nicer visually, and it's done. Next, sometimes we are working with a long table that is spreading across several pages, and we want the header row to be repeated on top of every page. Of course, we might be tempted to do some manual copy-paste like this, but uh, please don't do that, because not only do you need to reformat the header row again for every page, but when the table grows, the header row will be pushed back, which is not what we want at all. So, a better solution is to click anywhere on the header row that you want to repeat, go to Table Tools, Layout, and click on Repeat Header Rows. And now, the header row is being repeated, even if more tags are being added. Okay. Next, sometimes we want to merge a few cells in a word table. There are two ways that this can be done. One is to highlight the cells that you want to merge. Right click and then merge. The other way is to use the eraser tool and uh, some of you might prefer this option better because it is more intuitive. So, to merge cells using the eraser tool, we just need to go to table tools, layout, click on the eraser tool, Right click and drag the mouse cursor to the line we want to remove and any line that is being highlighted in pink will be removed. Uh, if you want to split the cells, just click on the draw table option. Then a little pen icon could appear. Uh, right click and drag the mouse to draw the line. And once you are finished, just release the mouse and the line is done. Finally, let's learn how to set up auto numbering in a word table. So, I have a very simple sales list here, and it looks great until the table grows. For example, if I want to insert a new row after banana to add in the sales data for apple, then that's when I have a problem. Because not only do I have to add the, sale, the apple sales data, but I also need to manually correct the sequence number of all the rows below it. So, a better solution is to insert an automatically numbered list and to do that, we need to first delete the manual list, then select the column. OK, now go to Paragraph and uh, click on the Numbering option. And it's done. Now, whenever we need to add more data to our table, or if we need to rearrange the order of the rows, the sequence number will be automatically managed.